सीरीज एसी सर्किट्स क्वेश्चन एन अल्टरनेटिंग वोल्टेज ऑफ 250 फिफ्टी वोल्ट फिफ्टी हर्ड्स इज अप्लाइड टू अ कॉइल विच टेक्स फाइव एम्पियर ऑफ करंट द पावर एब्सॉर्ब बाय द सर्किट इज वन किलो वैट फाइंड द रेजिस्टेंस एंड इंडक्टेंस ऑफ द कॉइल सोल्यूशन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट्स राइट वॉट इज गिवन The value of alternating voltage is given, so V is equal to 250 volt. The value of frequency is given, F is equal to 50 hertz. Then the value of current is given, so I is equal to 5 ampere. The power absorbed by the circuit is 1 kilo watt, so the value of power is given, P is equal to 1 किलो वैट और 1000 थाउजेंड वैट फाइंड द रेजिस्टेंस एंड इंडक्टेंस ऑफ द कॉइल वी हैव टू फाइंड रेजिस्टेंस दैट इज आर एंड इंडक्टेंस दैट इज एल नाउ फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी हैव टू फाइंड रेजिस्टेंस ऑफ द कॉइल so to find resistance of the coil resistance of coil we will use this formula power is equal to i square r because we have the value of power and we also have the value of current i so from this formula we can find the value of resistance r so therefore r is equal to p divided by i square power is 1000 watt so 1000 divided by i square so this will be 5 square so it will be 1000 divided by 5 square so it is 40 and since it is resistance so its unit will be ohm so r is equal to 40 ohm now we got the value of resistance r then next we have to find the value of inductance of the coil now to find inductance of the coil inductance of the coil so inductance to find the value of inductance we know that inductive reactance xl is equal to 2 pi f l so from this l is equal to xl upon 2 pi f but we don't have the value of xl we have the value of resistance and we have the value of voltage frequency current power and also we have the value of resistance now so here z is equal to under root of r square plus xl square now this z is equal to v by i so here we can write v by i is equal to under root of r square plus xl square now voltage v is 250 volt so 250 divided by current i the value of current i is 5 ampere so 5 is equal to under root of r square the value of resistance 40 ohm so 40 square plus xl square if we square on both side so it will be 25 by 5 250 by 5 it is 50 250 divided by 5 is 
is equal to this. If we square on this side and this side, so it will be 40 square plus XL square. So therefore, XL is equal to or XL square is equal to 50 square minus 40 square. And therefore, XL is equal to under root of 50 square minus 40 square. So therefore, XL is equal to under root of 50 square minus 40 square. So it is 30. And the unit of inductive reactance is Ohm. And here we can see L is equal to XL upon 2 pi F. L is equal to XL upon 2 pi F. The value of inductive reactance is 30 divided by 2 pi multiplied by frequency. Frequency is 50 hertz. If we solve this, so it will be 30 divided by 2 pi multiplied by 50. So it is 0 0.095. 0 0.0954 and since it is inductance so its unit will be Henry. Also we can say it is 95.49 or 95.50. L is equal to 95.5 into 10 to the power minus 3 and its unit will be Henry or we can write L is equal to 95.5 in place of this 10 to the power minus 3, we can substitute milli Henry. So, what we have to find in this question? We have to find inductance and resistance. So, here we can see resistance, find the resistance and inductance of the coil. Visit the link in the description below. There you will find thousands of questions and answers and videos related to electrical and electronics engineering. Thanks for watching.